guys, it's Tina, my homesteading project. And as you can see, I have a crate of quail. These are some quail from out in the uh, poultry house that we're going to go ahead and be butchering today. If this is upsetting to you, go ahead and turn off the video now. But I just thought I'd share with you how easy it is to go ahead and butcher your quail. And so if that's something you want to see, stay tuned. Okay, so all you really need uh, to butcher your birds is a good pair of shears um, that I've washed off really well. I like these because they have a notch here where uh, you can put a bone and it makes it easy to cut the bones. So that's really all you need to butcher your quail. So we're going to grab a bird. Come here, guys. And hold the wings. So we can't flutter. And if you hold them on their back, let's see if you can see okay. If you hold them on their back, they're very calm, see? They're really not difficult to deal with. So just hold the wings really well, hold them upside down, and kind of get him to relax. And all we're going to do is just take the shears and snip his head off. But do hold the wings because just like a chicken, they'll flap a little bit when the nerves kick in. So I'm just going to put the shears around his neck. And slip the head off and let the blood drain right in the sink. I do this right in the kitchen. Now the nerves kind of kick in. And the feathers puff up a little bit when uh, the nerves are kicking in. But since it's such a small bird, you can feel, you know, when it's pretty much done. And then the, the feathers will pretty much lay back flat when it's done with all, when the nerves are gone. But once you take the head off, the bird is dead. So it's not feeling anything. It's not hurting anything. It's not in any pain or agony. See, so the feathers have laid back down. I can feel that it's done. So now we'll just go ahead and take it over to uh, the counter and we'll finish it up. Okay, so we've got a couple birds here. And like I said, all you needed was the shears to, uh, to cut the heads off and then the rest you can just mostly do by hand. See, the skin, you just put your thumbs together and pull it apart and you can tear it. So you don't need anything special other than your shears uh, to finish up. Now the first thing I'm going to do, well I tore it, but usually I wait a minute. I go down and I feel where the, where the leg bends here and I just take my shears. And I just cut the leg off. And I have two bowls here, one for um, the bird and one for all the, all the bits. So, cut off the legs. And then you're going to take the wings and pull them out. There's not really any meat on these wings. So I go to the very first little knuckle here. And then I cut that off as well. Now you can get the birds wet in advance, and then you don't have so many feathers fluffing and flying around if you get them wet first. So we take off both of those wings, okay? Then we just tear off the skin and the feathers all at one time. And it just pulls right off. See, it pulls right off that arm, or wing. <laughs> right off. Go around the back, butt. And sometimes some feathers will stick, especially around the tail. Just yank those off. And 
there you go. You've taken most of that off. And then you just give it the ink. And I hold it over the bowl because just in case they poop. But we're going to rinse them off afterwards anyway, so it'll be all good. Okay, so there's your cleaned bird. And here you can see is the esophagus, okay, where uh, that goes down in there. So I'm just going to loosen that off of there. Now, you can, if you want to, you can go ahead and do it like a chicken and pull all the insides out. You have to have very small hands to be able to do that. What I like to do is I take my shears. I'm going to rinse those off real quick. Okay. And if there's a few feathers, that's okay. We're going to rinse these birds off when we're done anyway. What I do is I've gotten that esophagus out of the way. And I just take my shears and I cut out the backbone, being careful not to puncture anything inside, but I cut straight down one side of the backbone. You're not gonna lose, there's not a lot of meat on these, as you can see, but you're not gonna lose a lot of meat removing the backbone. So I go all the way down to the tailbone, and then once you do that, Snip all the way through. Then everything inside can come out. It's really super easy. Just go down both sides. Now, if you wanted to do them like little roast chickens, you obviously would want to uh, keep everything intact. But that this way, now I'm just going to let everything come out. As you can see, you've got your little lungs. Those are always the hardest because they always want to stick, even in a chicken. They always want to stick, so pull those little lungs out. And all the rest of this, you just kind of pull them open. And you have your esophagus. Everything, you just pull everything down and out, and it all comes out. See, we've got our, our little pieces. Now, if you want to keep the little hearts and the little lungs and, or the little hearts and little livers and, and all that, you know, you can do that, but really they're so small, it's not worth the trouble. But you just pull everything out. It all just comes out in one big chunk, other than the lungs. They always have to be pulled out individually. See, and there's, if you wanted to keep the little heart, there's the little heart. You might feed that to the cat. Okay, but that's it. I mean, you've pretty much, you've pulled everything out. All comes out all at once. That's how quick and easy it is. Then I just rinse these, this off and put it in a bowl. And the nice thing is, since it's kind of filleted open, it's really easy to just throw it on a barbecue or throw it in a pan and fry it up. But that's how easy it is to butcher a quail. So hopefully that's helpful for, for some of you guys. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those below. Granted, Leave nice comments. Um, if you disagree with butchering animals, don't watch this video. This is a farm, so this is how we feed ourselves. We raise our own meat. We know where it comes from. It's not from cellophane at the grocery store. So anyway, that's it. So you guys have a great afternoon, and we'll talk to you later. And remember, God is good. We'll talk to you later. Bye.